Hi everyone, today is the third episode of Let's Talk About. As you guys know, it's the show we're going to someone's place. But this person doesn't know we're going there, so let's find out who is our next guest. We're going there. We're rich, we're rich. Yes. So we are ready to roll. We, it's, I hope she will be there. I hope, I hope. Surprise! What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, I was just about to go to the market. No, but... you don't have time to go to the market because it's our day. Our oh. day of shoot. Our episode. So it's time to change, to come back after. And okay, that's fine. it. You okay? Bye. Okay, Bye. cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now it's time to let's talk about. Another day, another shoot. Today we have Tara Luis McManus with us. Thank you, Tara, for having us. Mm -hmm. So, pleasure. a pleasure. Uh, sorry for you because I interrupt you, your routine today, but it's okay because it's, <laughs> it is what it is. So, I want to know more about how you reach Bombay, how to reach India. So, I am part Indian myself. Okay. Um, most of my life, I've lived abroad. I lived in um, lived in England. Um, and elsewhere and I just moved to India four years ago. So Bombay has been an amazing experience and it's been quite quick for me to call it a home. You know, usually anywhere my mom is, that's where home is. Yes. Because, you know, I've been moving around all my life, pretty much. Um, so she <laughs> makes everywhere a home. And somehow, you know, I love Bandra and I love all my all the friends I've made and They've just made it home for me. Yeah, yeah. Nice. We're, guys, we're promoting fucking Bandra West. We're promoting, yeah. we're promoting Bombay. So, Bombay government, yeah. Huh? Come. So, when you start doing your, 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 your stuff, your career in photography and art? I actually started using analog cameras when I was about 15 years old. My, my late father, he, would, he was a photographer himself. Um, he had a huge uh, you know array of cameras when I was a child he never allowed me to touch them because you know they were fragile. you will break something well, you know like something. a kid get out <laughs> like, you know it's, it's hard you. and yeah. then you, you and get finally he said yeah yeah exactly and then he finally said you know why don't you try and learn how to expose film so uh, talking about photography sorry to interrupt you talking about photography I was checking your social media and everything I found some very interesting stuff so let's check it out and let's a picture of oh, yours, God. of course. Let's check it out. This picture. <laughs> she has a fringe, she's happy, and she have a, I don't know, a smoothie drink. Tell me about this picture. Uh, that definitely was not a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> that was beer. And I was in London and I was it was during university time and and that fringe actually was cut by my first boyfriend, you know. He, okay. He literally took a, a ruler and he's like, you know, I want your, your fringe to be like cat power. You know cat yeah, power? Cat power, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, she has this amazing fringe. I want your fringe to be like hers. So he took this ruler and he just got and she, We checked this. This I found very interesting, very, very dramatic, very <laughs> Hollywood vibes, you know. Tell me about this picture. So again, it was taken in a bar. I clearly hang out in bars a lot. Okay, I, I think so, you're your favorite <laughs> spot, you know? Yeah. Where you hang out? Bar. Where are you? A bar, you know? <laughs> Tara is in the bar. <laughs> so. Yeah, so that was um, that was in a bar in central London, Soho. And this last picture, what I found very interesting and very like a, out of out of all of your, your vibes and everything, but I, I found very cool, this kind of dark, punky side of Tara, <laughs> Louis McManus. Yeah. Tell me, what's, what is the, the story behind this picture? It, it wasn't what my personality, it's not portraying my personality ever. My personality has never been dark or whatever, but somehow I look like this. Like a, this, like I would punch your face, you know, yeah. like a very, like a, a rude girl. <laughs> like yeah, rude. I wasn't even looking, I, don't, I wasn't even into goths. You know, at that but time you want to experiment. Good. They had experience experiment. I said, okay, let's try this. Let's see if yeah. it suits me or not. What is the most weird situation you you have and should? The worst thing is, which I think with is that, very common mm, with photographers, yeah, is you know when they have when clients have really high expectations and very low budget. You know, so they're like, no, sorry, we can't reach. <laughs> We're gonna afford that. We can't right? afford you. So tell me about your best highlight in your career. Um, I think it would have to be, even if, before my prop, my career fully started, yes. was shooting Amelia Clark. So I shot her just before she started 
when she was actually filming Game of Thrones. Oh, wow. So we are here in your uh, workspace. Mm -hmm. So tell me more about this, um, what you're doing now with the picture. This is actually an old technique called hand coloring. It's a technique that was used in the 19th century before color photography had been invented. A single photograph would come and then the photographer would edit it by hand and paint it. And it used to be, you know, it was a photograph, but then it would become quite a painterly, you know, effect. I'm trying to do that and kind of incorporate more contemporary elements into my uh, hand paintings. We have the next segment, where we call ping pong. You know ping the pong. ping pong? Ping, oh. ping, ping, the hand, ping, 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 pong, ping, ping, <laughs> ping pong. I will ask you some question where like, uh, you need to be very fast, very smart. Okay. Okay. I can and try. <laughs> so, if someone take you for a date, Oh God. Right? You go for a restaurant mm -hmm. and when he asks for the bill, you prefer he pay for the dinner or you want to go half and a half? I don't know. It's quite a, a tricky question actually because it depends on the person sometimes. But if I'm going on a date, first date, I don't mind if he pays for it first. I do prefer paying for myself and yeah. I do at least offer. Even if I like the vibe of the person, I always offer. Even if I secretly want him to pay. <laughs> I hope my future dates don't see this, but like... Or maybe I, they should, actually. They, they should, should yeah, see yeah, yeah. it. I want you to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. My birthday? It's your birthday, right? Mm -hmm. And you get gifts. Mm -hmm. What is your reaction when someone really knows you, when you give you something you don't like, you keep it, or... You will say like, uh, you will try it. Uh, yeah, I probably would give it away. In my country, for example, you give flowers when people die. So like... <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> gift it for your flowers, birthday? No. Oh, wow. We don't give flowers on our birthday. Our birthday. What about congratulation, congratulatory? No. We, do, we do like a maybe sweet stuff, you know, like a chocolate, but never flowers. Or you give flowers if you're going on a date, you know, like ah, maybe you yeah, yeah, yeah. give you flowers. Where yeah. Also, you know. I like your, your honestly, yeah? You're Thank very, you. Thank you. Very, very polite. Very yeah. British vibes. You know, kind of have one glass of water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I still have those British mannerisms and the British kind of politeness and respect and everything. For example, over here, um, I ask my friends, my good friends, obviously, yes. can I please have a cigarette? I always ask, you know, can I please have a cigarette? And they're like, stop asking, Tara, you just take it. You know, it's so cheap here. It's so like, you know, compared to England, just take it. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't like I'm like, but I will never ever be able to just take it. I'm one of those people who still ask. Yeah. You are world. It's Thank amazing. you. Thank you. So we are here and we are sharing an experience that should be live with Tara. Tara, she, she's a shooting model, she's doing test shoots. So we want to share and to see how she's manageable, how she directs and everything. Not so much cleavage, please, please guys. I don't want you to do my part in my show, please. It's my time, it's my time now. Okay, okay, okay. Give me your sex Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> catch his moment, catch his moment because you know. Okay, okay, okay come cool. On, come on. I'm, I'm, really, I'm pretending I have a table here, so it's like, uh, let's see. Don't look so confused. I look like I'm selling watches. <laughs> okay. okay. When you are waiting for your food and you're expecting to come earlier, and you say, my food's coming. I'm hungry. I know it's coming. That feeling when, yeah, your food is arriving. Yeah, it's arriving, yes. Yeah, it's like a... Oh, finally. Look at me. This is like a, this is like a pose, like a bow for me, you know? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's cute, it's cute. See, see, oh, okay. It it's like, okay. <laughs> I get my payment on time, yes! <laughs> it's the end of the third episode of Let's Talk About with Tara Lewis McManus. Thank you so much. I leave you, you keep working here. Keep working, working, working like a